Hey humans, welcome back to White River Homestead. I'm Shy, and this is our second garden tour of the season. It's been about two weeks since I gave you the first garden tour and showed you the production garden. So things have grown dramatically. We've put a lot of work in. Uh, you'll see a lot of different stuff than you didn't see two weeks ago. So let's just go ahead and get to it. So we'll start over here in the production garden. And you'll see we have a row of sunflowers growing here. This is gonna be our sunflower fence. Down here we have some melons that have popped back up this year. Those are probably just from us tossing stuff out into the yard because we did not plant those. Under the netting here, we do have our cabbages. We have them under the netting to help keep the moths off so they don't lay their eggs. That's what happened to our cabbages last year. There's nothing in this row right here behind the cabbages yet, but I'm gonna be planting radishes here soon. There's nothing in that second row halfway up there either. We'll go down this row here and you can see over here we have, these were all just kind of extra tomato plants that we had and we are Florida weaving those ones as opposed to growing them on walls like we are over there. Next to that we have beets. I've never grown beets before but you can see they're doing nicely. That's my cut flower row. Um, I sewed those a little too thick, so we're just gonna see what happens. You can also see a squirrel dug up a nut in that area. Shucks. We still have all these beets through here. Plenty of tomatoes over here. Looks like it's about time to do a second weave. Over here we have okra. I've never grown okra before. This is a first time for these. They're not doing too terrible. As you can see, a lot of stuff is getting some pest damage, so I definitely need to do some pest control this year for sure. Over here, right past our tomato floor to weave, you'll see these are red potatoes that we just kind of sprouted from the grocery store and stuck in there. I'm pretty pumped about them. Next, we have two squashes. We also have zucchinis over there. Lots of flowers, quite a bit of bug damage. So if you have any pest control advice, I will take it. There's some other cut flowers there. My whole cut flower row. You'll notice we have drainage laid. It's not fully functional yet, but it will be very soon. Cucumber trellis. This is what we're calling cucumber paradise. Some of the plants are kind of small. Some of them are super tall. And several of them have cucumbers. I'm also noticing this on the outside of some of my cucumbers. And I don't know if that's slug damage. I'm not 100% sure. But, oh, and I also see squash bugs down there. Time to get the jar out. This is our mammoth sunflower that we're growing in between. Several cucumbers over here. It's been kind of difficult to keep them hydrated with this heat this week, but we have cucumbers. And then right past the flower row, we have Tomato Alley. All different kinds of tomatoes on both sides of the trellis. We have a really pretty Cosmo right here. They're all tied up at this point. This marigold is so tall. It's crazy to me. So that is the production garden overall. There's so much happening out there. So 
I'm gonna go in and fill in beets and radishes and some of the empty spots, but that's what we have for the production garden. So this next area I'm gonna show you is eventually going to be our greenhouse, um, but we're just kind of winging it right now. So let's check that out. This right here, it will eventually be the greenhouse. And right next to that, we have some cucumbers growing in grow bags. This is the plant that we've already harvested two cucumbers off of. The dog's got the first one, and then we got the second one. I had some aphid trouble here, um, and it looks like I have some other issues going on already. So I definitely need to figure out what's going on with all of that. But we have quite a few cucumbers on here. Going into where the greenhouse will be, we have peanuts. This is the first for us. You can see some flowers tucked down in there. And then we have three ground cherries. And we're growing these on this this year because last year when they'd fall to the ground, the birds would get them faster, they'd rot. So hopefully this can combat that. Our first year strawberries. This was an extra tomato plant that we had. I didn't know what to do with it. You can see there's already several tomatoes on there. It's looking pretty good. And then our moon garden. Look at these moon flowers. And that's about to open any time now, so I need to keep an eye on that. But that brings us to the main garden. So if you haven't noticed already, we've already had quite a bit of pest damage this season. Um, the stuff's only been in the ground for about a month. So I've been learning a lot about how to combat different pests that I haven't had to deal with the last couple years. So if you have any recommendations for any type of common pests, definitely comment them below and let me know because I'm trying all of the things that I can do organically as possible. So let's go ahead and get to our garden. So we're gonna go ahead and start in this corner, make a loop so I can show you some of the stuff in the backyard as well. Our mint over here, doing wonderful, it normally does. We have a hollyhock, nasturtium, plenty of beans here. This side over here are the dragon tongue bush beans. And then down here, we just have your regular green bean. The bush beans look to be, or the dragon tongues, look to be a little bit healthier right now, but that doesn't mean these will not surpass them. You can see some zinnias along the line here. These two aren't doing so hot, but these two are doing great. Could be the slope, not sure. In this bed over here, you'll see we have several of the zinnias. Our peppers are okay. This lemon blush tomato is looking great has a flower there, doing wonderful. Go into the next bed, our first tomato wall. That sunflower is looking good. These tomatoes are looking a little puny compared to everything else. They're not growing real well. I don't know if we didn't fertilize it enough, if it's just how they're doing over here, I'm not sure. Uh, there's quite a few flowers, so we're just gonna go with it and see what happens. You can see a few carrots popping up back there finally. That's the first time we've ever grown those. This dill is going crazy. I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of it to sell at the market this weekend. And then I don't know what to do with the rest of it, but I'm trying to get it before it completely goes to seed. And the chamomile back there, and look at that pumpkin flower. Oh my gosh, we just have to check this out. Look at this thing. And there's a bee down in there. Thank you. Yeah, that's doing fantastic. So wonderful. And this chamomile, there's more chamomile outside the bed than there is in the bed, but we're just letting it go. On the back side of the garden over here, we have garlic. You can see a lot of that's starting to die off, which means we'll be harvesting that here soon. These cucumbers are looking pretty good. Several cucumbers on them. You can tell there's some that haven't gotten pollinated and that's okay. That happens early on for sure. 
These ones are growing real well. And you'll see cucumbers that look like this. That's due to inconsistent watering. That was just a tiny baby cucumber. We got three inches of rain, so it swelled up. That's one we'll eat and we won't sell. It's easy. This right here, Lair's Hot Pepper Bed. These are finally starting to pick up a little bit. And I think it's because of the heat we've had this week. Peppers really like heat. And so these can get that heat this week. Um, in the back back here, you can see another pumpkin leaf. These lettuces that I didn't even think would grow. We've harvested from them and they're just coming back even stronger. It's crazy. Yeah, look at that one. Wow. We don't have any female flowers yet. Otherwise, I'd pick those off and pollinate them, but we don't. These are some peas that I'm trying to get to trellis up this sunflower stalk TP. They're not trellising real well, but they are growing. And that, my friends, is our first pea. So we have them in here. They're just kind of wandering the thing. We need to do some weed damage in here, weed control, but our butternuts are growing up pretty well. We have this bed over here that I'll go ahead and show you. This was just straw bales and we went ahead and threw a bed around it, put a trellis up. Blue butterfly peas are gonna trellis that. Our rogue tomatoes that we don't know what they are and a ground cherry. Can't go wrong with ground cherries. So back over here into the last half of the main garden. Ooh, look at that moth. Very pretty. On that opal basil there. Oh, it looks like it's a silver spotted skipper. So next we're going over here. We have another type of garlic. You can tell we still have some scapes we need to harvest on those. I'm going to harvest those tomorrow morning and sell the rest of those at the market. But this will all be ready to harvest soon. We have some cucumbers hiding down there. Onto our other tomato wall. This black beauty on the edge here is doing phenomenal. I'm so excited for these this year. Our Kellogg's breakfast is looking good. We have solar flares. The sun golds are a little leggy, but that's common for a cherry tomato. We've got some peppers in the back back there, just holding on. This heat hopefully will help them. This comfrey, we already cut down twice and it's coming back like crazy. We're actually going to propagate this small one right here. Once you go past the comfrey here, you'll see our Roma tomato bed. Some good looking tomatoes on there. We do have a marigold back there, some basil, and then a sunflower in the corner. Over here, we have another thing of dill that's trying to go to flower. Some nasturtiums and our citronella plant. So for the last bed, this is in the front of the garden here. We have several peppers. They're just kind of hanging on. Once again, I'm hoping this heat will really help them thrive. And then over here, we have radishes, cantaloupe, and radishes. Radishes here. This was a Kajari melon, but the slugs ate the stalk, so we had to take it out. We put a tomato in. This is a Kajari melon, and I'm really struggling with some pest damage on some of these lower leaves. Everything's starting to look like this, and I don't know why. Here, this is a rogue, I'm assuming, Kajari melon from last year. So if this doesn't do so well, then we'll let that one grow up. But this Kajari melon's looking really good. More radishes, and we actually have a melon on there. So I will definitely be hand pollinating that once that flower opens. And there's plenty of male flowers on here for me to choose from. So 
overall that is a tour of our garden the original garden we do have some stuff over here that i did not show you on the first video so let's check it out this is our perennial bed so we have a shasta daisy say hi bogey <laughs> We do have onions planted up there and in here. They're doing really, really well. I have some eucalyptus down here. And then in here, we have hollyhock, bee balm, and lavender, coneflower, lemon thyme. That salvia probably won't come back every year, but we're gonna see more lavender next to it. You can see the yarrow. There's a weed in there I need to pull self-heal and bee balm we have our rosemary and the rest of those onions so then when we come over here this is something we did last year and we decided to do it again this year it's pretty cool right outside the back door we have a tomato plant this is a cherry tomato plant i think a gold nugget maybe but you can see it has plenty of flowers on it. We just need to find a way to stake it up and support it. But that's kind of neat because it's right outside the back door. Now let's see what we have on the back deck. This whole space is a work in progress. We've been putting new siding up, so it's kind of a mess. But our green stalk over here. I'm about to pull these lettuces and cabbages out and replant with something. I'm not sure what yet. We had a black creme in there, but it got ate up by flea beetles. So we pulled it out, put another one in. These flowers, just random flowers I put in a pot. They're looking pretty cool. Hi, Besa. And that's really all we have for the back deck. I really hope you enjoyed this garden tour. Please comment any questions you have. We'll definitely be doing garden tours every two weeks, if not more often. And if you're local, come see us at the farmer's market on Fridays. We'd love to share this stuff with you. As always, cultivate originality. We'll see you on the next one.